Hi, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Morgan at Splendid.Yoga. We are going to do some Surya Namaskaras today, some sun salutations. Let's start standing on your feet. Set your feet on the ground, press down into your feet. Now lift up all 10 toes, set down your big toes and your pinky toes. Can you keep the other three toes lifted? It's pretty hard. <laughs> Take some practice. You can do it though. We'll try it again later. All right, feel all your toes on the ground. Press them all down. Feel the heel, your heel, your calcaneus bone pressing down into the ground. And rock to the sides of your heel, one side to the other. Shift your weight from one side to the other until it lands. And you can really notice right in the middle, right in the middle of both heel bones. Then press up out of your ankles, press up out of your knees. Lift your quadriceps up off of your kneecaps. Squeeze up through your pelvic floor like when you have to stop peeing. Draw your belly in, right behind your belly button. Draw it in and up towards your diaphragm, up towards your rib cage. Take a deep inhale into your rib cage, right into your lungs. Don't let your belly move, just the ribs move. Exhale loudly, powerfully, let it all out. Again, inhale in, right into those ribs. Strong belly, keep that core in. Exhale powerfully, let it go, let it go. Okay, inhale in. Now through your nose, just as powerfully, exhale out. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms towards the sky. Look up as your palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, hinge from the hips. Reach out way far out from your shoulders. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten your legs. Perk up your tailbone. Press your hands into your shins or above your knees on your thighs. Push your heart forward and lengthen the back of your neck so it's longer than the front. High plank, plant your palms on the ground. Step one foot back and then the other. Plant your palms through the ground. Spread your fingers wide and slowly rock your shoulders an inch to the right, an inch to the left, an inch forward, an inch backwards, and then land right in the center where it feels the easiest for your wrists. Now lift up out of your wrists by squeezing your belly, squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Set your knees down, set your chest down, set your chin down. So your heels, your booty, and your elbows are perked up above you. Cobra, shift your legs back, hips to the ground. Slide your hands underneath your elbows and lift your heart up using your low back muscles. So hover your arms off the ground, hover your hands off the ground, slide your wrist back, way back in line with your elbows. It's pretty hard, keep those wrists really flexed. Squeeze your elbows like they're gonna touch behind you. Press your feet down, lift your ribs up, inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Set your palms on the ground. Keep your heart as low to the ground as possible and shift your hips back to your heels. Inhale to a tabletop position. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands on your tippy toes. Tippy toe your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift hands on your legs, or you can dangle your arms and shake them out. Exhale, forward fold, generous bend in your knees, please. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up, way up there. Come onto your tippy toes if you want to, it's fun. <laughs> Exhale, standing back bend. Set your heels on the ground for this one. Cactus your arms and touch your fingers to your skull, the back of your skull, and then lift your skull up and back away from your spine. Breathe. Press your elbows out wide and breathe. Inhale, mountain pose. Stretch your fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Really slow cliff dive into your legs. Inhale, high plank. Plant your palms. Step one foot back and then the other. Exhale, side plank. Left palm is your base. Stack your body. Now you can set your bottom knee down. You can stagger your feet so one is in front of the other. Or you can stack your feet. And there are lots of other leg variations as well. You can make this as hard or as easy as you want it to be. 
Now, if this is just not happening for that left wrist, come down onto your forearm. That's all right. All right, high plank, be slow, be slow, come through it. And side plank on the other side. So stack your left hip, your left shoulders, your left leg on top of your right, and then decide what those legs need to do to feel stable and strong. Feet can stagger, you can set a knee down. You could float that top leg up if you really wanted to get right into it. You gotta breathe. Slowly high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Curl your toes. Lift your hips high into an inverted V. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lateral moon. Grab your left wrist. Pull your left arm over to the right. Shift your hips over to the left and make like a thin crescent moon shape. Draw your belly in. Gaze under your left bicep. Dig your left arm deeper into its socket. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lateral moon. Grab your right wrist. Good squeeze for the carpals. Pull your right arm over to the left. Shift your hips over to the right. Press into both feet equally, then lift up out of your feet. Pull your right arm like it's gonna come out of its socket, then dig that right arm deeper into its rib cage. Gaze under your right arm. Breathe. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing back then. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, gaze forward, squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, side plank, go right back into side plank on the left side. Left arm is your base, right arm lifts up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, side plank on the right side. Poke up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Put the tops of your feet to the ground. Slide your hands towards your feet. Pull your heart through your arms. Exhale, down dog. Curl over your toes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop. Feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lateral moon. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lateral moon. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, squeeze your belly. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, side plank, starfish. Pop up onto your left arm. Reach your right arm and your right leg up. Take up a lot of space. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, side plank, starfish, up onto your right palm. Lift your left arm, your left leg, way up there from the heel. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, big breath, really enjoy it. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Paran Astasana. Tuck your hands underneath your feet so your toes touch your wrists. You'll have to bend your knees a lot to do this. 
Dig your toes into the meaty part of your palms. They should feel pretty good. Keep your hands underneath your feet and straighten your legs one and then the other. Maybe not completely straight, but working towards that. Feel the sensation in the hamstring. Keep the belly in to help with balance. Slide your hands out from underneath your feet. Take the ragdoll forward fold. Bring your feet mat distance apart. Bend your knees so you can rest your whole belly on your thighs. Grab opposite elbows, overhead, and hang your head to gravity. And gently sway from side to side, as big or as little as feels good for your body. An inch or two, or you could really drape yourself over one leg and then move to the other leg. Move slowly so balance isn't an issue. Move with the breath so the mind stays focused. Slowly through center. Set your hands on the ground and lower your hips to a squat, malasana. Your heels may want to perk up at some point. Only lower your hips so far as your heels stay on the ground. You can leave your fingertips on the ground for balance or bring your thumbs to your heart. Press your elbows out into your knees. Inhale, cow back. Lift your tailbone. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, cat. Tuck your tailbone. Touch your thumbs to your eyebrows. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, and push your right hand down into the ground. Reach your left arm up and behind you. Exhale, cat. Bring everything in. Inhale, cow, press your left hands to the ground and reach your right arm up and behind you. Exhale, cat, dive everything in. Inhale, cow, right hand on the ground, left arm up, half binds, left arm behind you, full bind, reach arm way forward and around your shin. Fingertips clasp or right fingers wrap around left wrist. Pull your left arm straight behind you. Open your chest towards the sky. Breathe. Exhale, cat back. Unwind your bind. Thumbs to your eyebrows, tailbone tucks. Inhale, cow. Left hand to the ground, right hand to the sky. Half bind, right arm behind you. Full bind, left arm around your shin. Way forward, way out there. Bend the elbow, bend. Fingers find each other or Wrap your left fingers around your right wrist. Pull your right arm straight behind you. Twist your right shoulder back. Breathe your sternum up towards the ceiling. And the cat back slowly release the binds. Palms together, thumbs at your eyebrows. Set your hips down and roll onto your back into the happy baby 
the happiest of babies. Grab the outside of your feet or your calves or your knees and rock from side to side all around your spinal muscles, all around your back, even down by your sacrum, that triangle of bone, five fused vertebrae at the base of your spine, the major source for your sympathetic nervous system. The fight or flight response gets delivered directly to your sacrum so it can communicate more quickly with your legs so that you can fly, so that you can run away when you're in danger. But of course, we don't really need to do that too often in the society. Um, that was more for when we were being chased by animals. Nowadays, it gets stimulated uh, just by general stress, stress that we all experience. So it needs a massage, it needs a hug, just like the rest of us. So massage all around that sacrum, that really special zone. Set your feet on the ground. Lift your hips up, just halfway into bridge pose. And sway your hips from side to side in a way that feels like a bit of a dance. Move your hips in a figure eight in all the directions. Find the really juicy spots and really dig in. And set your hips on the ground. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. Bring your hands behind your head. Inhale your low belly in. Exhale three crunches. Lift up your heart. Press your feet together. Lift up your feet. Inhale, lower your head, lower your feet, squeeze your low belly in. Exhale, lift your heart, lift your feet. Inhale, slow, lower, slow, slow, resist setting yourself down. Exhale, lift yourself up and curl yourself into a tiny little ball. Squeeze your knees into your chest, touch your forehead to your knees. Grab your feet if you can, opposite feet, and press them down towards your butt. Lift your tailbone up towards your heels. Curl your shoulders towards your legs. Make yourself just as small as you can be and breathe into this shape. Inhale. Shavasana. Exhale. Spread your legs out, your arms out, just as wide as is comfortable. Rock your head from side to side until it lands somewhere that feels easy, effortless. Allow your muscles to fall away from their bones and notice the heartbeat, especially after some core work. The heart's beating a bit faster than usual. Just notice it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to slow it. Just notice it. It'll slow itself. It self-regulates especially when you give it the space to self-regulate. Observe that process in yourself in silence for about the next minute. And this is where I'll leave you, friends. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for your practice. Good work. Take your yoga with you out into the world. It truly makes the world a better place. Doing your yoga practice is a selfless act. Namaste.